Let's talk about love and romantic compatibility when it comes to dealing with someone that has Aquarius sun sign. But first I want to make sure you understand that when it comes to compatibility, information about the sun sign is useful, but let's not forget how important the role of the moon sign is. This is because in a relationship, you're basically dealing with two major aspects of a person, how they think about things and how they feel about things. Your sun sign is going to be much more of an indication of how you think about things and your moon sign is going to be an indication of how you feel about things because your moon sign is how you're wired emotionally. All relationships are going great until there's an issue and when there's an issue and one person gets angry or emotional, you're going to be dealing much more with their moon sign. So we can't talk about sun sign compatibility without talking about the moon sign. Because we need to address both of these major factors, we're going to take the sun sign and in the case of this video, Aquarius sun sign, and I'm going to give you the top 10 things you should know about dealing with an Aquarius sun sign with regard to romantic relationships. This top 10 list will be generally what you can expect with an Aquarius when it comes to love. Then I'm going to take Aquarius sun sign and give you a brief overview of what that Aquarius would be like depending on what element their moon sign is in. And now the top 10 things you should know about dating an Aquarius. Number 10, they are unpredictable. Aquarians thrive on being rebellious and if you impose too many rules on them, they will be out. Number nine, they must have communication. Aquarians are extremely open-minded and love exploring ideas, so they require conversation and communication from their partner in order to be fulfilled in a relationship. Number eight, they do not like black and white thinking. Although they love to explore ideas, they do not like direct confrontation that presents them with yes or no answers or it is or it isn't type of perspective. So if you're debating an issue with an Aquarius, it will benefit you not to be rigid in your approach. Number seven, they are highly social. Aquarians make friends so easily. So being in a relationship with them, you should know that they have a large social circle and many of those people in their circle may be exes of theirs. So if that's a problem for you, then you might want to look elsewhere. Number six, they are rational. The exciting thing about Aquarians is that they are very mature in terms of not jumping to conclusions or taking things personally. The exception to this is if their moon is water, but even then, in comparison to the other signs in the zodiac, they tend to have a big picture, tolerant perspective. Number five, they have a great sense of humor. Aquarians love to entertain and be entertained, so having a great sense of humor and an appreciation for their flair for being funny will definitely be a point of connection. Number four, they are repulsed by nagging. If an Aquarius makes a mistake, don't harp on it. They will admit their fault and move on if they feel your willingness to forget about it. But if you continue to bring it up, they'll just see you as annoying and someone that they need to avoid. Number three, they are independent. Aquarians are affectionate and excited by love and relationships, but if you show any signs of codependent behavior, they will quickly find more free-flowing company. Number two, they are humanitarians. You can rest assured that showing any interest in helping the greater good will get any Aquarian on your side. Taking on the task of making the world a better place with your Aquarian is a great point of connection and bonding, and it'll also help you gain even more appreciation and understanding for what they consider to be important. And the number one thing you should know about dating an Aquarius is the best way to attract an Aquarius is be unique. Aquarians love things that are different, so you can rest assured that if you just be yourself with total freedom and excitement for life, they will be very attracted to your energy. Now that we're clear on the top 10 things you need to know about dealing with an Aquarius sun sign, let's talk about the more detailed info regarding who this Aquarius will be depending on what element their moon sign is in. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius that has fire moon, you will have an intelligent, action-oriented water bearer on your hands. Air fuels fire, so the combination will increase the intensity of the Aquarian's traits. There may not be much practicality to this combination, and their desire to be in a traditionally committed relationship may be overpowered by their desire for freedom, but creative, ambitious energy will be at the forefront of their personality. If you're dealing with an Aquarius that has air moon, you will be dealing with a talkative partner with many ideas and a depth of intelligence that is sometimes hard to follow. This combination is a lot of fun, but when it comes to being unpredictable, 
they definitely bring home the gold. The good news is, if you give them space to be themselves with no judgment, they'll keep you entertained and in a state of gratitude with their generosity. If you're dealing with an Aquarius that has Earth Moon, you will be dealing with the most practical version of Aquarius. Like most Aquarians, they will perceive the world through their intellect, but an Aquarius with Earth Moon will constantly be on the lookout for material proof of any idea they are entertaining. The good news is, this combination is usually open to and excited by the idea of a committed relationship. They'll have very high standards for what it is they're looking for and they will have no problem communicating their desires. If you're dealing with an Aquarius that has water moon, then you will be dealing with an intense and uncharacteristically emotional Aquarian. This Aquarius will require connection and communication in a relationship. And if they're not getting it, you will for sure know about it. This air and water combination doesn't do anything at a five. They are always at a 10. So if you're looking for a relationship of extremes, this is a great match for you. Now in later videos, I'll go more into depth about navigating through a relationship with each individual version of Aquarius, meaning I'll take Aquarius sun sign and explain in detail what that relationship would be like with that Aquarius if they have each individual moon sign, like Aquarius with Aries moon, Aquarius with Taurus moon, etc. And I'll give you the best way to make the most out of that relationship. It's also a good idea to check out my Zodiac and compatibility video so you can get the basics and general rule of thumb when it comes to understanding if your sign is compatible with someone else's sign. So now that you have this sun sign and basic moon sign combination, you can look at the placement of your sun and moon and see if it works well with the sun sign and moon sign combination of the person that you're either with or interested in being with. You can see if you're the same element, which means you speak the same language. And if you don't, you can use this as insight into how you can better understand their language because remember, more than attraction, more than sexual compatibility, and more than just having things in common, the true key to a successful, long-lasting relationship is communication. And in order to communicate, we have to understand and embrace each other's language. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.